There is probably no car maker that rolls out new models faster than Toyota at the moment. The world's biggest automaker introduced plenty of new models over the last few years, and what's particularly intriguing is that after years of being overdue for a redesign, the body on frame lineup is now fresh and super competitive. Well, almost, because there are a few things left to be done, including the update of Toyota Fortuna. The popular SUV hasn't changed much since the 2015 redesign design and 2020 refresh, but after this redesign, the three-row SUV will have everything it needs to crush all competition. Keeping up with the competition The Fortuna competes in a specific part of the world. Unlike most of its siblings, it's oriented to Australia, Southeast Asia, and similar markets, where it battles the Mitsubishi Pajero Sport, Ford Everest, and a few more remaining genuine SUVs with body-on-frame platform and strong off-road performance. The Everest has already been updated while the new Pajero Sport is coming, so the Fortuna needs changes to remain relevant and survive in the demanding market. Thankfully, that's exactly what's happening right now as Toyota is working on the new Hilux pickup, and as usual, the new Fortuna comes right after. Because these two models are the closest siblings, models that share so many things, whether it's about mechanics or aesthetics. That will continue, but the new Fortuna is about to get improved in nearly every aspect. It looks like Toyota is finally about to address all those critics that refer to the refinement, comfort, and overall performance of this aging SUV. New platform, and how are all these improvements going to be achieved? Well, it all starts with a good foundation, and in this case, things are pretty easy to guess. The close siblings, Hilux and Fortuna, are left to adopt the new TNGA architecture and join the rest of the crew, consisting of the new Tundra, Tacoma, Land Cruiser, Sequoia, and other models that already received important updates. Once again, the new Fortuna will be based on the Hilux, but what's important to keep in mind this time is that the iconic pickup truck will feature a little bit different design approach. It will share way more parts with the North American market Tacoma, both in terms of bigger size and technology, which will help solve some of the biggest issues the outgoing model has. The new platform will bring a whole new spectrum of possibilities, whether it's about new powertrain options or the adoption of new advanced driver assistance and other features. The Fortuna will do the same. Essentially, it will become a more refined vehicle, more suitable for families, but at the same time, it will stay loyal to its original nature and retain its rugged, off-road and utility-oriented body-on-frame layout. Nevertheless, the new platform will bring benefits in many ways, starting from improved torsional rigidity, lower center of gravity, and other things that can have a big impact on handling, comfort, and overall ride quality. Of course, the advanced suspension setup with a double wishbone at the front and multi-link setup on the rear end is expected to carry on, with minor tweaks. But on the other hand, we can hear reports suggesting a new electric steering system that would lead to a more convenient driving experience. Electrification can wait. It's no secret that, at a time when most car makers are making big steps towards full electrification, Toyota takes a more cautious approach. Moreover, the Japanese automaker doesn't believe in an all-electric future and insists on a diversified approach. According to Akio Toyoda, internal combustion engines are about to remain in use for many more decades, so it doesn't surprise that this company is constantly bringing interesting novelties in terms of hybrid technology. This time, it's about electrifying Fortuna's well-known diesel and making it even more efficient. As you probably know, the outgoing Fortuna comes with a good old 2.8-liter turbo diesel, which was updated a few years ago and now puts out 201 horsepower and a pretty impressive 500 newton meters of torque. Well, it's getting another update. This time, it's about getting electrified, as the popular oil burner is getting a belt driver 48-volt mild hybrid, which will improve efficiency, make the ride smoother, and most importantly, reduce emissions. The benefits of the new powertrain will be numerous. According to the officials, this system will improve fuel economy by 6 to 10 percent. It will make the engine idle at lower RPMs, quieter, and more refined. Moreover, it will also get more powerful as the electric motor is about to contribute with its 16 horsepower and 65 newton meters of torque. 
Finally, the new system also brings an updated and upgraded multi-terrain select system, which now offers six different traction control modes designed for various types of terrain. Is it time for a gas hybrid? The current Fortuna is predominantly using the 2.8-liter turbo diesel engine. A few more oil burners are available too, but in some markets it also comes with a couple of gas-powered units, the good old 2.7 and 4.0 liter engines. Although bulletproof, these engines come from another era of the automotive industry and don't seem competitive enough for these modern, more demanding times. Therefore, we might see a big shift towards turbocharged engines, just like it happened in North America with the new Tacoma. That pickup has a couple of powertrains that would work perfectly in the new Fortuna. First of all, there's a Sol Turbo 4 gas-powered unit which comes in two iterations with 226 and 278 horsepower, while another detail worth mentioning is the 8-speed automatic transition which would bring a couple of important benefits over the current, a little bit outdated 6-speed unit. As for the diesel, it's still unclear whether it's about to get a new gearbox as well or it's about to carry on with the old but proven 6-speed transmission. But that's not all. Another highly anticipated upgrade for the new Fortuna is the new iForce Max Hybrid setup, based on the same Turbo 4 engine but backed up with a pretty capable electric motor. That system is currently reserved for the hottest versions of Tacoma, characterized by quite an impressive 326 horsepower and a magnificent 630 newton meters of max torque. With such a setup, the Fortuna would definitely stand out as the most dominant force in the segment, while the generous amount of torque would turn it into an excellent hauler and significantly increase its off-road potential. Boulder Design the officials have been pretty quiet about the new Fortuna so far. Somehow, they're managing to keep everything under the veil of secrecy, but that doesn't mean we don't have anything to refer to. Digital renderings are quite numerous, and they all indicate a bolder design approach. That doesn't come as a surprise, considering that the current model is often criticized for being too mild in terms of aesthetics. Keep in mind that it hasn't changed much since 2015 and that the new look will certainly be a massive improvement. A bolder look with a more aggressive front end will certainly make the Fortuna more appealing, but there is another, more important thing to be sorted out if Toyota wants to take all guns on the competition. Namely, everyone expects the new model to get bigger. Although classified as a mid-size SUV, the outgoing model has a pretty modest 2740mm or 108.1-inch wheelbase, while the total length goes up to 4795mm or 188.8 inches, which doesn't leave much maneuvering space when it comes to interior space, which we will talk about in a moment. The new Fortuna will get bigger, but this is where things are going to be tricky, because despite the family oriented design, this is still a body-on-frame SUV with strong aspirations to be a capable off-roader. The problem is that big size and off-roading don't come together. Toyota designers will have to be very careful and find the right balance because it's super easy to go over the edge with the wheelbase and overhangs and reduce approach, breakover and departure angles. And while we speak about off-road potential, the new model will certainly benefit from the aforementioned improvements of the drivetrain with new traction control modes. Of course, typical off-road features like center and rear lockers as well as low-range gearing will be available too, while some reports even suggest a dedicated off-road version with further off-road upgrades in terms of suspension, increased ground clearance, off-road tires, and better underbody protection. More spacious and way better looking interior as we've just mentioned, one of the most important issues the new model will have to solve is the passenger space. With modest exterior dimensions, it's hard to expect things to be any different on the inside. Indeed, the outgoing model features a very tight third row, so we can't say it's an ultimate family hauler. Hopefully, this is going to change with the new model, which will get bigger and therefore provide more passenger space, especially for rear occupants. The current model has been criticized a lot for its lack of rear passenger space, but it's also been criticized for being, as some like to say, too agricultural. 
And this doesn't just refer to the rough rattle of a diesel engine, it's also because of the interior design. If you look a little bit closer, you will notice that there is no major difference between Hilux and Fortuna when it comes to interior design. The dashboard is the same just like the center stack, even the selection of materials is pretty much the same. That's not necessarily a bad thing, these cabins are practical and well built. Still, as a family oriented SUV, the Fortuna would use a little more style. It would use nicer materials as well, while it's pretty much a certain thing that the new model is about to bring many novelties regarding tech and convenience features. A new infotainment system comes to mind and we also expect it to finally get wireless smartphone integration. There's a whole bunch of new or improved driver assistance features as part of Toyota's latest Safety Sense suite of advanced safety systems. Release date and price The new Toyota Fortuna will be ready to hit the market pretty soon, and with all improvements we talked about, it's pretty much a certain thing that the prices are about to go up a bit. Unfortunately, that's an ongoing trend in the automotive industry, so we don't have a reason to believe that the new Fortuna would be any different. In Australia, the base version currently starts at around 54,000 Australian dollars, which equals 35,500 US dollars. But if we consider that the recently redesigned Ford Everest, which is the Fortuna's key rival, now costs nearly 59,000 Australian dollars, it's pretty clear that there's enough room for further price increase in the near future. What do you think about the new Fortuna? Can it catch up with the competition and become a class leader again? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.